Welcome to my makeup desk. My setup consists of the Hemnes dressing table and the Alex Nine Door storage unit, both from Ikea. I have modified both the pieces of furniture. Well, technically not me. My dad modified both of them for me. He put lights on either side of the mirror, which if you would like to see a video for that, I have that coming, so stay tuned. And he put wheels on the bottom of the Alex drawers, that way I can move it around easily because it is a heavy tower with everything in it. I am a visual person, so I like seeing all of my lipsticks and my eyeliners and my makeup brushes laid out before me. I'm also pretty much blind, so I need that extra mirror to bring it closer to my face in order to be able to see what I'm doing while I'm applying makeup. On top of this first drawer, I keep my eye makeup remover and my two current foundations that I am using, as well as 18 of the wet wild mega last lipsticks i do have two more than those ones but i keep them in my purse at all times because i just love those colors the ones i keep in my purse are bear it all and in the flesh and in this first drawer i keep all of my earrings i wear mostly studs and because i do they're not super difficult to sort through that is why they're all jumbled up but i do keep my current favorites in the bottom right hand corner on the right side of my vanity i have my makeup brushes my eyeliners and my beauty tools I keep them on this side because I'm right-handed, so it's super easy to grab them when I need them. The two jars that you see in front of you, I did create them myself out of old candle jars. I do not have videos of these DIYs online, but they are super simple and you can probably find something similar on Pinterest. My makeup brushes are drying right now. That's why I only have three in my jar. Typically, I have the majority of my collection and in this drawer, I keep all of my clean makeup brushes, which right now consists of only Real Technique brushes. The rest are drying. I swear I have more than just Real Technique brushes. If you would like to see all the ones I own, I have a brush collection up on my channel. This jar is my eyeliner jar. I keep all of my pencil eyeliners here as well as some beauty tools. I have four pairs of tweezers, two from the Real Techniques brow set, the fine ones and then just the regular tweezers, and then two black ones. They're the same kind. The purple ones let me know that they are my old ones. I have my two Essence gel liners right here. I pretty much use these guys. If not, I'm using the NYX slide on glide on liners. I have Stila, some Lee Swatche. These are LA colors back here. I got a set last Christmas. And then a few random ones, NYC, Wet n Wild. There's a few Essence ones in there as well. The beads that I got that are holding everything in place are from Dollarama, which is a dollar store here in Canada. And then last but not least, I have my eyelash curlers. I also keep my knockoff beauty blender right here. Behind my makeup brushes, you can see that there's a little switch. This is attached to an extension cord that runs right up to the light so I can control it using the switch. It's really helpful and it's great to have a switch right here because it's a quick on off. And now for the drawer below. In here, I keep my false eyelashes, the glue, some beauty products, and my jeweler. The eyelashes that you see up at the front are the ones that I wear most frequently. Yes, I wear them more than once. Yes, they are dirty right now, so I'm so sorry, but I do clean them very thoroughly before I put them back on my eyes. In the middle, we have cotton pads, and there they are out of the container. I have the Kiehl's avocado eye mask, a few samples from Sephora, all of my eye products, my contacts, and my drops because my eyes have many issues with them, and I have a spare Forever 21 brush set. In my jewelry section, I have it kind of all laid out. Because the drawer opens and closes so frequently, it all kind of jumbles up together, but it's super quick to be able to separate everything. My watch right there is what I wear most frequently. That is my favorite necklace that I own, and yes, that is a TARDIS necklace. Most of this jewelry I purchased at Forever 21 or online like eBay. I also made a bunch of it myself, and the most expensive thing in here is my watch which i got at walmart for 20 bucks and now the moment you've all been waiting for my makeup collection before i get to that though i'm going to show you what i have in the extra drawers in here so in the very bottom drawer i keep this blanket that my oma made me she crocheted it just for me in the colors that i requested and i keep it down here that way it's pretty much dust free and it stays away from dog hair next we have the candle drawer this is mostly bath and body works but i do have other candles from yankee candle my favorite is coconut in case you're wondering. Up at the front, I have the wallflowers, and along the sides, I have mini candles, big candles in the back. The last drawer in this unit that is not makeup related is my tech drawer. I have many tech drawers in my room, but this one is kind of like a tech junk drawer. As you can see, I have two cameras down at the bottom left hand corner, three different microphones, two lens caps, two battery chargers, two SD cards, 
two chargers for the 30 pin or 32 prong whatever iPod iPhone thing, a battery and a external hard drive at the back. Kind of a modge podge of different things and that is why it is a tech junk drawer. And now, the reason you're all here, the makeup. This is my palette drawer. It is not my only palette drawer. What you see here is what I can fit in this drawer. I have it pretty much organized. I like the way that it's set up. Yes, it could be different, but I do think it is very user-friendly considering I sit on the right of this drawer. So the way I look at it, I look at it from the right side onwards and everything's kind of facing towards me. I keep all of my setting powders, bronzers, blushes, highlights, and extra eyeshadows in a white container all in rows. The first row closest towards the bottom of the screen is my setting powders, my bronzers, and a few highlights at the back. Then I have blushes in the middle, and then the top row we have highlights at the back, a uh, highlight on top, and then two random blushes that did not fit in the middle row. Underneath that we have three e.l.f. customizable palettes. The top one has MAC products in it, and the bottom two have e.l.f. products. To the right of the container we have four Maybelline eyeshadow palettes. I have all of the Maybelline eyeshadow palettes that they have released. I only have four here. The other one you will see in a moment. I keep them on their sides like this because they fit nicely in this deep drawer. In front of that, you might not be able to see it from here, but in front of these four palettes, I have a tiny little hard candy birthday suit palette that fits really nicely underneath this organizer. Behind the Maybelline palettes, I have two Coastal Sense Reveal palettes, number one and number two, followed by two Stila palettes, the In the Light and then In the Know. Behind that is an e.l.f. palette that came out uh, many, many Christmases ago. And then at the very back, we have a blush palette. In the very front, the bright pink one is the Essence How to Make Bright Eyes palette, followed by the Too Faced Natural Eye palette, then a Gosh Limited Edition palette, the two Urban Decay Naked Basics palettes, and the Forever 21 Rose Champagne Glow Fergie Collection highlight. In the back of my palette drawer, we have many more palettes that you don't see because the drawers in this unit do not pull out fully. I wish they did. So here are the ones that you kind of can't see. The Urban Decay Naked Palette, the first one, the only full-size naked palette that I own. The Balm's New Tude Palette. Uh, this one is by Profusion, I believe. It's the Bare 10 Eyeshadow Palette. The two black palettes at the back that you see are the Forever 21 Nude and Smoky Palette. These were repackaged from the natural one that I have above, which is one of my favorite ones. I don't like the consistency of these eyeshadows, which is why they are stuck at the back. Then we have the Too Faced Everything Nice palette. This was limited edition a few Christmases ago. It doesn't get used very much because I don't like the consistency of the eyeshadows. Before we cause an avalanche on the side, I have the Essence Love Letters palette. This one doesn't really get used, unfortunately an e.l.f. blush and contour duo. Then right here I have the Rock Glow Getter palette from a few years ago. This was also limited edition, unfortunately, but there's some really pretty colors in there. The last guy right here on the right is an Avon palette. I don't get a lot of use out of it. It has tons of eyeshadows, lip glosses, blushes, and bronzers in it. Down here, since you've been eyeing it for a while, are all Coastal Scents palettes. This is the 28 Neutral palette. Then we have the Warm 88 Eyeshadow palette, if I can get it out. Go, and the Metal Mania palette. And that is it for the back of the drawer. The next drawer, which is the first of the short drawers, is my nail polishes. I keep this one on the bottom because that's the heaviest drawer and I do not want it up on the top because if I leave it pulled out, there is a potential that it could fall over. There is a method to my organization here. I have Essie polishes and basically square or rectangular bottles along this side. Sally Hansen Extreme Wears right here. All of these are Essence Limited Edition. I have Forever 21s right here. Info Colors along here. Uh, OPIs, Orly's, uh, Finger Paints. What are these? China Glaze. I have Salon Perfect. Wet n Wild back here. Um, more Wet n Wild. Hard Candy. There's a Rimmel one here. There's a Coverall one up here. Doesn't really matter the order. I kind of know where I keep them. And honestly, when I'm going through here, I'm looking for a color. I just keep them by brand rather than color because I like the way the bottles all fit together. At the back, I just keep my extra nail stuff. You can barely see it because the drawers do not open all the way. I wish they did. I have some files, some nail dotting tools, a top coat back there, some lotion, uh, toe separators, extra nail polishes, and a whole bunch of tweezers and nail clippers on this side. This is my everyday makeup drawer. This is where I keep all of the products that I use most frequently. As you can see, it's quite organized. 
I keep it this way, that way it's easy to find any product that I need. Although my lipstick and lip gloss container is overflowing right now, I need to find more space for it. As you can see, I have lipsticks. These are Revlon lip butters. I have some NYC, some Wet n Wild, some Essence, more NYC. This is Revlon. Right here are all my neutral lip glosses. I have some NYX down there, a lot of Essence below that. And at the back, I keep my extra lipsticks, little tiny ones that fit. All Essence are at the bottom, all the limited edition lip glosses. This section right beside it is my concealers, my face products, anything that needs to be in here that doesn't fit in any of the other categories. So I have concealer, my eyeshadow primer. These two are my most used products probably in this entire bin other than mascara. Underneath there, I have other primers, other concealers, other eyeshadow primers, uh, uh, a cream blush by Tarte, that was limited edition. It came with their Bon Voyage set. Another Urban Decay primer potion. I think this one came with the Naked palette. I have some face primers back there. And underneath I have the Olay BB cream. It's too big to fit anywhere else. I don't use it all the time. And that's why it has to stay there. This guy is my eyeliner and my mascara bin. I keep my favorite mascara right here. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is my old one, as you can tell. I have another one down there. I'm kind of switching between the two. I keep the pumped up one right there as well. And all the Jordana cat eyeliners, I guess, or the liquid liners sit along the side. I have two browns, a black, a gold, and a green one. At the back, I keep all of my other mascaras that I enjoy, as well as some samples of little high-end ones. As you can see, this is probably my most organized container out of all of the bins in here. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo bin. I love the Maybelline Color Tattoos. I do not own all of them. I'm Canadian, so a lot of the limited edition ones do not come up here. Uh, this main row, I start at white, and I go through nudes all the way down to black. Then I have a white one, a pink one, a red one, a purple, a blue, and a green one. Okay, this front bin is a lot of fun. I have a lot of different products in here. I kind of keep it organized as you can see. There's just a lot of stuff in here. Right here, I keep all of my Essence eyeshadows. The top two are limited edition Blue Me Up collection and the rest are from their main line. I think they got rid of it. This one, Party All Night, is my favorite. That Get Ready is behind it. I also love that one. Metropolitan is in front of that, love it. Then down here I have some more Essence Cookies and Cream Limited Edition ones, some e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadows, these are great, I have two. I have two more Essence Limited Edition from the Kalinka Beauties. Then I have the Sephora Colorful Matte Eyeshadow and Coffee Break. This is what I use for my eyebrows. Then in this side I have some MAC eyeshadows, Naked Lunch, all that glitters and gleam, love them. Then I have a NYX eyeshadow, another NYX one down there. Two benefit ones that my sister gave me. I don't know if they still sell these guys anymore. I have my sharpener right here, Wet n Wild, Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner because I'm fancy. An Annabelle eyeshadow and then down there, I can barely see it. It's a L'Oreal La Couleur pressed pigment. And then in the front I have a Tarte Amazonian Clay whatever smooth operator. And then underneath that I have a Flower Beauty mousse in wild geranium. To the side I have two Essence eyeshadow palettes only because they fit perfectly. This is the All About Nude and the All About Sunrise palette. As you can see I have some Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes here. I have the Comfort Zone palette, the Petal Pusher. This one is a Black Radiance palette. It's in Downtown Browns. I love it though. It's gorgeous. And then way at the back, uh, they got rid of this one unfortunately. This one is Blue Had Me at Hello. And that is it for my everyday makeup drawer. This is my palette overflow drawer. It's also my limbo drawer. As you can see, there are many palettes and products in here that don't really have a home, and that's because this is their home. They belong in here because they don't fit anywhere else. As you can see, here is the fifth Maybelline palette, the Rock Nudes palette. Here is a Forever 21 palette that just doesn't fit anywhere. This is the Lorac Unzip palette. It is a knockoff. I hauled this a while ago. I do enjoy it. There are some nice buttery shades in here. Um, I'm not sure if I recommend buying a fake eyeshadow palette. I did know it was fake. I don't know, it's interesting. This is an e.l.f. palette. It is wonderful. I love it and that is why I keep it up here. I love the shades. It's just, it's a gorgeous palette. This is the Tarte Bon Voyage palette. It is gorgeous, it's purple, it's gold, it's beautiful and that's why it lives in here just because the packaging is insane. At the back we have more palettes. 
This is the Lorac Mega Pro palette. This one's also fake. I don't like this one as much just because all of the shades are completely washed out. Uh, I do like Granite and Deep Teal and those are about the only shades in this palette that are redeemable. Right here we have four of the Coastal Sands Build Your Own Hot Pop palettes. I keep them in color order. So I started with white. That was the first color that I started with. This is the pink palette. I love this palette. If you wanna see pictures, and swatches of this, check out my Pinterest. It's linked down below. Then I have my neutrals and my orange palette. This one's great. Next, I have a green palette. Yes, green. Why green? I don't know. I was just feeling green last Boxing Day when I purchased everything. And this is the result. I don't have blues because blue on me, no thanks. And lastly, my purple palette. As you can see, there are room for expansion shades as well as in the green palette. I'm pretty sure you saw. I might try getting some pinks next year or more purples or maybe blue, despite what I just said. Down in the middle, we have knockoff naked palettes. These are not exactly like the naked palettes. I saw them with the different shades. I saw this on Pinterest. This one is gorgeous. It has coppery tones and a purple and a silver. This one is the same one as the back, but they got the packaging wrong on one of them. This one's the one that they got wrong. And it is a smoky knockoff palette. Then I have the Too Faced. Chocolate Bar Palette, a knockoff Lorac Palette. Can you see that this is my knockoff drawer? I just wanted to see if they were reputable. This one's also not very good. I wouldn't recommend it. This is my favorite palette that I own. It is the Forever 21 Natural Palette. It is gorgeous. All of the shades are so buttery. It's been in two or three of my yearly favorite videos. This one's my favorite. Absolutely love it, which is why I keep it up here. That way I can access it better. And the last little bit of this drawer is what I like to call the limbo section just because these guys don't have a proper place and I don't know where to put them, that's why they're in here. So I have eight ColourPop eyeshadows. Honestly, I do not like them at all. I have the Kathleen Lights Quad right here, the first one that she released, uh, and then I ordered four more. I really only placed an order because I needed Liberty. It's a bright silver metallic shade, it's gorgeous. These three shades right here, I heart this, Amaze, and Lovely. These are my MAC and my only MAC lipsticks and lip glosses. These are both the Miley Cyrus collections. This is number two, they match number one. Only ones I own. I don't think I will ever purchase another MAC lipstick or lip gloss again unless Miley Cyrus releases another collection. These are two Essence liquid lipsticks. They're not liquid lipsticks, they're just lip glosses. This right here is a Benefit Their Real Remover. I haven't actually tested it out yet. I don't know if it works. That's why it's in limbo. If you've been disappointed by any of these drawers so far, I really hope this next one makes up for it. This is my beauty junk drawer. I think every beauty guru, not that I'm a beauty guru, but I think that every makeup fanatic has a beauty junk drawer. These are products that they've tried that they don't necessarily like, ones that don't have a proper place in their collection, ones that just didn't end up working but you can't throw away because for some reason you need to hoard every single makeup product that you own. You just need to keep it and you feel bad if you throw something away. This drawer has many containers to keep everything in its place, that way I can cram as much stuff in here as possible. In this first container, which is the closest to where I sit, and that's why I keep it right here because I use these the most, these are the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I use yogurt and milk the most. Then I have some extra Glamouflage concealers. I have many shades in here, as well as some other concealers and whatnot down below. It doesn't really matter what's in there because I don't use it. You will never see it in a tutorial unless it's a special effect. In this container, we have eyeliners along the side, Elise Washier, I think that's how you pronounce it, loose pigment, it's gold, and then a ton of mascaras that did not work out for me. I have colored mascaras, glitter mascaras, there's a hair mascara down there. There is just a ton of different types of mascaras that I did not end up liking. I keep them because they're specialty ones and I might use them in a tutorial someday. To the far left we have all of my lipsticks and lip glosses that I do not wear on a daily basis. I have lip glosses at the back, lipsticks at the front, down at the bottom I have crayons and up at the top I have liquid lipsticks that just are awful. Then I have baby lips. I have a ton of them. I have more than what's right here. In here I have a ton of different palettes. I don't really know what you can call them. There's a shimmer brick, cover girl eyeshadow. I have color tattoos in there. Then I have this Wet n Wild limited edition palette. It's actually not bad. The top three suck. The rest are okay. The poster child palette. This one is not the kind of colors that I wear. Then I have a black radiance palette. 
uh, Walmart in the States recently cleared out all of their Black Radiance products and they were selling these on clearance, so I purchased the two of them. This one, Island Blues and Downtown Browns. Then I have five different Wet n Wild trios, two limited edition ones, and I have Walking on Eggshells, Silent Treatment, and a brown one. Now, you can barely see the rest of these products and I have it so jam-packed that you can't, but I have a Wet n Wild bronzer back there. Um, other eyeshadow trios, quads. I have a ton of the random limited edition uh, color tattoos, just the ones that I don't normally wear. Hard candy stuff, some essence stuff in there. And then back here, you can kind of see it. This is my eyeshadow container. The ones that I didn't like, the ones that I can fit in there. The only other exciting product in there is MAC Coppering. The final drawer in my Alex 9 drawers is kind of embarrassing. It's also a junk drawer, but for products that I don't know where to really put. Right here, I have a ton of lip glosses that I don't wear. I'm considering getting rid of them, but I just don't know, and that's why they're right here. Hopefully, they will get used more. This is my Travel Kabuki brush, my Travel Stay Matte Powder. I do use that a lot when I'm, like, during the winter when I'm shiny. I have some Too uh, a Bittersweet, which is a really awesome jewelry store that is in the Toronto Yorkdale Mall. That is a box that I painted when I was four. While we're at the back, I have a ton of extra products that I purchased doubles of because they were limited edition. Then we have, this is a Maracuja oil by Tarte. It came in their Christmas set. I keep it up here because it doesn't really have a place down below and I don't want it to accidentally leak and get everywhere. Perfume samples, Biore no strips, little samples. Uh, this is a bonus Coastal Sense eyeshadow that I ordered a double of by accident. You are Canadian and you donate blood frequently, you get pins after you hit milestones. So I have the one pin for my first donation, the 10 pin, like I'm bowling, and the one that I got a few days ago, the 25 pin. Over here we have some Sephora perfume samples, clean fresh laundry, which smells awesome. Warm cotton smells even better. It smells like actual clean laundry. And then vanilla cocoa, I don't know what brand it's by, but it it's not so good. It smells like vacation. Up at the front, we have this, which is a Guerlain lipstick container, and I think I might do a DIY on this. We'll see, it has a mirror and a lipstick in that too. This is an iPad iPhone holder. I won't show you how to use that, but that's what it is. Two eyeglass cleaners, Lizzie's bows, these are so cute, and a bookmark. And finally, on top of my Alex 9 drawers is my perfume collection. I do have more than that. Yes, I'm a perfume hoarder. These are the ones that I use most frequently. I think I'm gonna film a separate video on this, so stay tuned for that, but for right now, you get a sneak peek. And that is it for my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.